Zelda's getting a live action movie. I don't know who's more excited. My nipples have never been harder. You should feel them right now. That's why I have to wear this to cover my nipples. So yeah, I'm a little excited that Zelda's coming out with a live action film. I've been waiting on something like this for years. I even talked with an old f uh, friend and fellow fan uh, years ago, and I wanted to write a script about it. Yeah, a little unknown fact. I wanted to be a writer, but I'm terrible at it. I always had good ideas for movies, but I never thought I would actually live to see Zelda being made into a live action. After the fiasco of Mario, it's not unheard of. Everybody knows. Nintendo did not want to do live action movies. For people that don't know, Zelda is a long time franchise that uh, has been deep in my heart for a long time. Uh, I've bought pretty much, I've bought every game they had except for the CDIs. Nobody owns them unless you just want to say you own them. I've played and beaten all of them. I, Ocarina of Time, I've played hundreds of times. I, I haven't, I still play it today. I hook up a 64 and play, I own a 64 still. Majora's Mask, pretty close second. One of my favorites, though, uh, minus the intro, would have to be Twilight Princess. The problem with Twilight Princess is it has an asinine long intro. It takes forever to actually get into the action, the good action. And I have to say, probably the first one I played that I enjoyed as a child was the uh, Link to the Past. Link to the Past is my all-time favorite because it's the length of it is just ridiculous. They have two maps to it, which, yes, they're just, you know, palette swaps for the most part. But overall, the entire story was phenomenal. I thought it was crazy. As an adult, they did the uh, Link to the Past 2. What was Link to the Past 2? Uh, Link Between Worlds. Sorry, it took me a minute. The Link Between Worlds is a phenomenal game. I liked it. I couldn't pick it up and play it now. My eyesight's probably not as good to stare at a little bitty screen like that. Um, but when I first bought it, it was I you know, I had an XL. The 3D XL. I love it. Played it up fuck ton when i was uh you know when i actually sat down and played them i love all the remakes that came out those remakes were amazing i wish they would come to switch it seems like nintendo's been lacking on doing some of their ports i think that's what we really would need is a zelda port a twofer i'll pay fucking 60 dollars for it it'd be uh wind waker and the twilight princess you port that to switch you'd make a killing anyway back to the, the uh part at hand the movie that's being released is going to be live action now it's not unheard of. We haven't had any idea they were going to do live action anything. Uh, better yet, the fact the Mario movie actually did good, but they did not want to do live action. They were saying that to hell with movies because of you know the debacle with Mario uh, Mario Brothers back in the nineties. Now, if you haven't watched it, it's nostalgically horrible. It is. I don't care if anybody's like, oh, but you know, it's it's time. You know, it's for its time. No, it's terrible. It was bad then. I never liked it. I like laughing at it. I don't like laughing while watching it. I literally like laughing at the fact they made it. And it makes it even funnier. The two main actors were completely plastered the whole movie. And I don't blame them. I'd be, I'd be hammered 24-7. If I had to sit there running around in a post-apocalyptic world, and it's supposed to be Mario. But it's good to see that Nintendo's starting to pick up some steam, and they're getting good quality people to come in and actually make these movies. Now, Mario, the last one that just came out, was completely CG. There, it was all digital. There was no, uh, there was voice actors that were pretty well known. I haven't looked up the details of any of the actors. I don't know if they've released them. I just got super excited about it, wanted to talk about it, and kind of get my get my excitement out. Um, I know on my last, or not my last video, on my uh, Spider-Man video, a few people thought I get wound up. Well, I do get wound up, man. And uh, that's just me. I get wound up about stuff, whether I get a little irritated or I get happy. Now, I don't normally just, you know, get belligerent and angry, but I do. I, I get excited. I feel, uh, you know, excitement about things or I get super, you know, irritated. Um, the Spider-Man thing was just more of a picking at everybody. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, 100%. I don't agree with the opinions a lot of people had, and even in the comments. But I'm not going to delete your comments because I don't agree with you. As long as you don't, you know, say anything like racist or super homophobic or anything, I'm not going to worry about what you're saying. So a lot of the comments and the uh, views, I appreciate all of them. I appreciate everybody's uh, liked it, and I even got quite a few subscribers out of it. I was surprised. I even got, I ended up getting almost 12 subscribers. That was amazing. I, I it blew me away. That uh, to me, that was a lot of support, and I appreciate it. So there's not going to be a lot I'm going to talk about in this video just because it's not a lot to talk about at the moment with uh, with the, the Zelda movie, the project that's going on. The only thing I really kind of just feel excited about is the fact that I get to watch and sit down and see what they can do. Um, I'm just wondering what kind of story they're going to tell. Is it going to be completely original or are they going to rehash uh, you know, an old video game? 
I would think it would be smarter to probably do a whole new thing. Um, but the big baddie, that would be the biggest uh, biggest thing. I just, I don't know who would uh, get my rocks off harder. I mean, Ganon, Ganon is like one of the biggest baddies, you know, the biggest bads of Zelda. I think you got Ganondorf, which they are sort of different. Um, if you really want to look in lore and people's opinions, I, you know, I kind of agree with it. You got the demon form and then you got the human form. Ganondorf himself is, you know, big green and scary with orange hair. And then Ganon is the demon. It's the one that's been around forever. Also, I'm ready to try to figure out the timeline now with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Anybody want to explain that to me? Put it in the comments because I'm super fucking confused. And I don't feel like watching a video that will confuse me more. I've tried to keep my head up on it and I, I can't comprehend it. Still a beautiful game and I loved it, but... Yeah, I'm confused, and I didn't think I was that stupid, but I guess I'm pretty dumb. Oh, and by the way, there was a, a few things I just wanted to address. Just real quick, it's nothing big deal. But uh, it seemed like some people think I hate myself, this and that. And I just kind of blew it off, because I don't. I'm sarcastic. Sorry, you might not get my sense of humor. Uh, further, you'll see my videos, you'll kind of catch on. I'm just a sarcastic dude. I really don't, you know, take a whole lot of things serious. There's not a whole lot of... You know, I'm just kind of living life and enjoying and laughing as much as I can. I don't seemingly do it on camera, but... Believe me, when I'm just rambling and getting it going, I'm just getting it to see. Yeah, maybe you'll get a laugh, maybe you won't. I'm just here to talk, chill, you know. Throw my voice out there, see what anybody wants to listen to it, and give it time of day. It is what it is. Probably ain't going to want to listen to me, that's fine. But if you do, if you like this, if you like what I'm doing, my content, uh, this is going to be a shorter video, like I said. So, there's not much more to say. Uh, I'm, I'll, If there's any updates, I would like to get a big update. And I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this off a little early today because I think I'm going to go ahead, get me a shower. It's the weekend. It's time to open up the bottle for tonight. Celebrate a horrible video game because I'm about to fire up Modern Warfare 3 online. And I've already got a few messages from friends. They're not liking it. So I get to go enjoy and hate myself for a little bit with them. Also, quick update. Avatar just released their trailer. I'm really stoked for that. Looks like nerds are going to reign supreme right now. Uh, it does suck we're not getting a lot of original IPs that are actually doing well. Everybody's watching you know, franchises now. But it feels good to kind of see my childhood uh, you know, being accepted by so many people. And that's the big takeaway that I want people to know is, you know, like with Spider-Man, uh, it was just a little picking. Don't get, you know, don't get your you know, dick in a wad. It's just a joke. But overall, it's good to see that people take an interest in, you know, Spider-Man in general. And that Stan Lee's legacy is living on and a lot of people and a lot of fans. But yeah, I guess that's all I'm going to say about the nerdy stuff and about Zelda right now. Um, I'm going to wait until I can see more information come out about it. And anybody that views this, likes it, shares, subscribe, I appreciate everything you do. Uh, without you guys, I wouldn't really want to be doing this as a hobby at all anyway. Because there would be no reason to do it. But it seems like my channel is already growing just a little bit. Kind of surprised me. It's not going to you know, blow up overnight and I don't care. It is what it is. Gotta say, y'all have a good one.